Wan slowly opened her apartment door, her heart pounding in her chest. She had hoped to find the apartment empty, to have some time alone to process everything that had happened. But as she stepped inside, her hopes were shattered. There, sitting on the sofa, were Eunji and Taehyung. They looked up at her, their expressions a mixture of guilt and apprehension. Wan's breath caught in her throat as she locked eyes with Eunji, her sister, the person she had trusted most in the whole world. Ryan, Yunji whispered, her voice barely audible. She stood up, tears streaming down her face. Ryan, I am so sorry. I don't know what came over me. It was a mistake, a terrible mistake. Wan felt a surge of anger rise within her, but she forced herself to remain calm. A mistake. You call betraying me a mistake. The young stood up as well, his face pale and his voice filled with remorse. Wine, I can't even begin to explain how sorry I am. It was a moment of weakness, but it meant nothing compared to what we have. What we have? Wine scoffed bitterly. You mean what you had behind my back? Yunji reached out to touch Wine's arm, but she jerked away. Don't touch me. Wine spat out. I trusted you both and you destroyed that trust. Yunji's tears intensified, her voice shaking. Wine, please, I never meant to hurt you. Wan's eyes narrowed, her anger bubbling to the surface. Love me. Is that what you call this? Love is not about betrayal and deceit. Tehum took a step forward, his voice pleading. Wan, please give us a chance to make it right. We can work through this together.
while shook her head her was filled with determination no te him There's no going back from this. You both made your choices and now I am no longer shrinking to be digestible. You can choke. Yunji collapsed onto the sofa sobbing uncontrollably. Please why and don't leave us. We can fix this. Wine cringed at the dramatic crying and took a deep breath, trying to steady herself amidst the chaos of emotions swirling inside her. OMG, this is not something that can be fixed easily or quickly. just takes time to rebuild and right now i don't even know if i want to rebuild it with either of you tehyung's face crumpled his voice desperate I made a mistake but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to earn your forgiveness. Wine's eyes hardened as she looked at him. Love is not enough, Taehyung. Love should never be an excuse for hurting someone so deeply. Silence hung heavy in the room as they stood up there the weight of their actions pressing down on them Wan felt a mix of anger sadness and betrayal coursing through her veins She had loved Taehyung with all her heart and she had trusted Eunji unconditionally. But now everything had changed. Finally, Wan spoke again, her voice filled with resolve. I need some time alone to think and process everything that has happened. I will be staying somewhere else for now just because I can't kick you out of here. Wan and her father's relationship was never good. He always preferred Yunji over her, so she knew kicking her out would cause more drama. Yunji's sobs grew louder, her hands covering her face as she collapsed back onto the sofa. Taehyung looked defeated, his eyes filled with regret.
प्लीज यून जी प्लीडेड थ्रू हर टीयर्स डोंट लीव अस लाइक दिस Why and turned away from them both tears of her own streaming down her face you both made your choices and now i have to make mine with that why and walked towards her bedroom to gather some belongings She could hear their cries and pleas behind her, but she couldn't bring herself to turn back. As she packed a small bag with some clothes and essentials, Wyan couldn't help but feel a sense of liberation amidst the pain. She was taking control of her own life refusing to let their betrayal define her Once she was ready Van walked back into the living room and looked at them one last time Remember if he was not faithful with me he'll never be faithful to you as well And the day this happens you'll cry hearing my words ringing in your ears she said firmly Without waiting for a response, Wyan walked out of the apartment and closed the door behind her. The hallway felt eerily quiet as she made her way towards the elevator. Her heart was heavy with sorrow and anger but also a glimmer of hope. The sun was setting casting a warm glow over the city skyline. Wan stood on the balcony of her apartment a sense of peace washing over her as she watched the world go by It had been a few years since she had cut ties with Taehyung and Inji and in that time she had focused on building a life for herself had pursued her dreams with unwavering determination and now she was on the brink of achieving them Wan had started her own successful business and had found the fulfillment in her work
surrounded by friends who cherished her for who she was how could she forget jiyun they are good friends now Jeon and Wayan often hung out catching up on life. Wayan was truly happy despite some problems here and there. She was at peace waiting for her special person. Meanwhile, Yunji sat on the edge of the couch, her hands clenched into fists as she stared at Taehyung. Who was pacing back and forth in the living room? The tension in the air was palpable, a storm brewing between them. Why do you keep lying to me, Taehyung? Yunji's voice was laced with anger and hurt, her eyes flashing with betrayal. Taehyung stopped in his tracks, his jaw clenched as he turned to face her. I'm not lying, Yunji. Those chats were harmless. He insisted, his tone defensive. Yunji shook her head in disbelief. Harmless. You've been talking to other women behind my back, Taehyung. How can you say that's harmless? Her voice cracked with emotion, the pain of her betrayal cutting deep. The young ran a hand through his hair, frustration evident in his expression. It's not what you think, Yunji. We're just friends. It doesn't mean anything. He tried to explain, his words falling on deaf ears. Yonji stood up abruptly, her eyes blazing with fury. Friends! Taehyung's gaze faltered under her intense stare. I didn't mean for it to go this far, Yunji. I just, I don't know why I did it. He admitted his voice nonchalant. Yeonju took a step closer to him, her hands trembling with emotion.
You don't know why? You've been betraying me, the hum betraying us. She accused her voice breaking with the weight of her words. Tehum pushed his hair back in frustration. Fine, think whatever you want to think. He spat and went out shutting the door with a loud bang. Yunji sat back on the sofa, tears rolling down her cheeks as she clutched the sides. That's when she heard Vyan's voice in her head. Remember, if he was not faithful with me, he'll not be faithful to you as well. And the day this happens, you'll cry hearing my words ringing in your ear. Isn't it weird that you are the one who got cheated and you're also the one getting sad? Life is too short to be sad. Just say, I'm no longer shrinking to be digestible. You can choke and move on.